Superstitions are like the complete polar opposite of science, right? Mm, yes and no. Hey guys, this is Annie for DNews. Even the most rationally minded among us partake in little everyday rituals sometimes steeped in superstitious thinking. Take blessing someone after they sneeze, which is considered good etiquette. Well, the practice is believed to originate during the rule of Pope Gregory the Great, who was Pope in the 6th century AD during the first recorded outbreak of bubonic plague. When someone sneezed, they were immediately blessed in the hopes that they would not develop the plague. Of course, lots of people did anyway, as much as half the population of Europe at the time. And yet we still bless our friends to this day almost out of reflex. Other superstitions that are intended to ward off bad luck? Knocking on wood, which we do often after making a hopeful statement. The idea being if you make that statement, you are tempting fate. This one is so old that it may actually predate Christianity. Some popular theories hold that European pagans would lay their hands on a tree when asking for a favor or after a run of good luck as a show of gratitude. Other common ones, throwing spilled salt over your left shoulder. And for the backstory on that one and so many other common rituals, particularly surrounding traditions like weddings or funerals, check out Trace's episode from a couple months back on why traditions exist in the first place. The point is, the pattern you'll see with many of these common rituals is that they're meant to ward off bad luck or a jinx. But from a behavioral perspective, these superstitions might be more scientific than they sound. Researchers at the University of Chicago School of Business noticed that many of these rituals involve exerting force away from yourself, knocking, throwing salt, or even spitting for good luck, classifying this as avoidant action. And they found that avoidant actions, even if they're not superstitious per se, like throwing a ball away from you, are linked to a belief that a negative outcome is less likely, as well as a less vivid mental picture of what that negative outcome would look like. This basically validates what many of us already understand, that superstitious rituals are comforting. So will knocking on wood prevent something terrible from happening? Probably not, but does that mean a logical person like yourself needs to stop? Also no, keep on knocking to your little heart's content. Do you have any interesting superstitions in your family or culture that you want to tell us about? Let us know in the comments, and thanks as always for tuning in. See you next time.